Hey there, everyone. This is Avra with EdTech Teacher. So I have an idea that I want to share with you today. Recently, in a couple of EdTech Teacher workshops, I've been working with teachers on utilizing Google Slides to create images that can be used as the template or the background for Seesaw activities. And so I thought I would just share a couple of the ideas that we've been exploring um, in hopes that maybe it'll help you in your classroom. So to begin with, um, what's the plan? So in this short video, I'm going to show you um, very very briefly just how to create in Google Slides and then we'll talk about exporting a single slide as a JPEG so that we can then take it and use it in Seesaw. Um, and then after that I want to show you an awesome add-on in Google Slides called Slides Toolbox that will allow us to export more than one slide at a time, creating um, a zip file, actually, of JPEGs. And then lastly, we'll just take a look at what we can do with those images that we export as we put them in Seesaw. So let's get started. Um, to begin with, creating in Google Slides. So if, you, if you've used Google Slides for a long time, you know that it can be used as a creation tool. Um, there are shapes, there are images, there are text boxes. You can create different backgrounds. I use Google Drawings a lot, but when I want to use, um, when I want to create multiple slides, multiple images, I'll use slides. So, um, you know, just, just really quick, this is our text box tool. Um, we can draw text boxes. We can also utilize um, all of the same tools that Drawings has. So we've got great line tools and um, connectors. If you were doing flow charts, there's a scribble tool, which is like a freehand draw. Um, and then in here, of course, we have shapes and arrows and callouts. So all different options for you. Um, just as an example, you know, I've, I used it when I was in the classroom to create like a Venn diagram template for my students. Um, and that way then we were, you know, comparing and contrasting things like that. If you need help with that, if you're really new to Google Slides, feel free to reach out to me in an email and I'd be happy to help you. Um, so moving on then. That's just kind of the, the basics of creating. Um, but then what are we going to do with it once we've got it created? So then at that point, in order to take our slide out of our slideshow, and make it into an image that we can use in another program like Seesaw or any other program, we want to download it as a JPEG. So you'll see here um, in this screenshot, you can also download Google Slides in all different ways. Um, you can make it a PNG file, which is going to have a transparent background. But for our purposes today, specific to this task, we're just going to look at how to create a JPEG. So what you do is you go to um, go to your slide, go to File, go to Download, and then choose this JPEG option. So again, just to do a quick demo of that, um, let's say we wanted to do this Earth and Moon Venn diagram. We're simply going to go to File, Download, and then we would choose JPEG. And you'll see it downloaded it right here. And so it's now in my downloads here on my Mac. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now, let's talk for a second about what if we created an entire slideshow with a lot of different slides in it and we didn't want to take the time to go file, download as, and then go to the next slide, file, download as, and then we'd have all of these different um, JPEGs floating around in the downloads folder on your computer. I don't know about you, but my downloads folder is a mess. Um, so I'm always looking for a way to kind of streamline my process. Um, so what we're going to do for that is we're going to use this awesome add-on in Google Slides called Slides Toolbox. So I'm going to flip over now to a different account um, that doesn't have this add-on installed and just show you quickly how to install an add-on in Google Slides in case you're unfamiliar. So what you want to do is you want to go up to the add-ons menu and you're going to go to where it says Get Add-ons. So from here, you can do a search. And what you want to type in is Slides Toolbox. And you'll see it appear here. So now it takes a little bit to install it. Um, there are some permissions you're going to want to read. Definitely, um, you'll have to choose. Here, I'm choosing the correct account. Um, if you're working with students and you're having them install this add-on, you're definitely going to want to have a conversation about why we might um, need to read through all of that just for that digital citizenship piece and making them aware um, because it is you know, going to do things like make changes to your Google Slides. So here it's going through its process of um, installing and in just a second it will be done. All right, so now we can hit done. So at this point, I'm going to come back over into this account that has the add-on already installed, where I have an example here of a spelling words 
activity. So we know as teachers that many of us do a weekly spelling list and we're always looking for ways for our students to explore the words and just generally get comfortable with them. And Seesaw provides awesome ways to do that. So, you know, we could take our words, bring them in as an image, and have students trace over the letters. We could have them record their voice, saying the words, practicing just reading them, the fluency, or even spelling them out loud. So the goal of this video is to show you how to create an image with the spelling words on it. So to begin with, I used Google Slides here. I just inserted a table. It's a three by four table. You may have maybe 20 words, maybe you have 10 words, all different numbers. So this may need to look different for you. You might decide that you want your words to be smaller so that students have the opportunity to maybe write the word again below what you have typed here. You can set it up any way you want. And once you're happy with the way it looks, we're gonna look at being able to download it. And the slides toolbox add-on is going to allow us to take all of the spelling words. So say you take the time to type up your entire year or maybe you do your first quarter words and you've got them all in one slideshow. What we're going to do is be able to download them all together at one time as a way to be able to streamline the process of getting a bunch of JPEGs ready to be able to then switch over and be imported into Seesaw. So to launch the Slides Toolbox add-on, what we want to do is return here to this add-ons drop-down menu and go down and find it. You'll notice that this account does have additional add-ons that I've installed, but I'm going to go ahead and choose this Slides Toolbox and head on over to Open. So once I have the Slides Toolbox open here, it opens in a right side panel, you'll notice that there are lots and lots of different tools. And I could definitely spend hours showing you all of the different cool things that this add-on does. So I would definitely suggest exploring it. But to stay focused, um, for the purpose of this video, what we want to do is go to Export Tools. So at this point, um, you can take a look. It can do all sorts of different exporting, including um, exporting text. But we want to look here where it says Export Slides. So at this point, what I want to do is go over and I want to highlight all of the different slides that I want to export. So what I'm doing is I'm holding down shift on my keyboard and I'm going to um, highlight all of them by clicking on the two, the, the second slide and the 11th slide. And now as I do that, I'm going to go ahead and choose JPEG and what it'll do is you'll see I've got a couple of them down here because I've been practicing. It's created this zip file here called export five. So now I have this folder. So by clicking on it, it opened up, it extracted it for me. If you're in a Windows-based environment, it might look a little bit different. Um, but here are all of these JPEGs now that I can do something with. Okay, so then let's talk um, about what are we going to do after we've downloaded. So now at this point, um, you know, what are we going to do with it in Seesaw? So let's hop over to that Seesaw environment and take a look. So here I am in the activity library and what I'm going to do is go over here on the left, top left, and choose create new activity. So from here I'm going to go ahead and give it a title. We'll say sample spelling activity. And then we'll go ahead and type some instructions which I already had typed, copy and paste. And then what I need to do is pay attention right here. So we're going to add this template for student responses. So this template is basically going to be the background of the activity. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click or tap on this. And here you can see there's a bunch of different items we can choose from. We want to choose upload because we have something created already that's here on our computer. You could also bring in an image um, that was in your Google Drive if you wanted. But we remember we downloaded it here to the downloads folder. It's still in this folder called export five. Um, if I were doing this for real and not just as a sample video, I probably would have renamed that folder, given it a you know a stronger file name, something like Spelling Words 2019 or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these though, and then hit open. You'll see what happens is it pulls it right in here, and then I'm going to go ahead and use my check mark to get to the next screen. So you can see here, the teacher has the option to add something here, but this is also what it will look like for our students. So let me just follow the process through using this check mark in the top right up here. And now what's happened is I still have my name and my instructions, but now I have a template attached. So when I go down and I hit save, now on this next screen, you're going to be able to see what the 
activity looks like. So you can see all of the typed instructions with the nice icons that Seesaw has created for us, um, as well as the template here. So let me go ahead and just assign this to a class so that you can see what it looks like on the student end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a look at this as a student. I'm going to go ahead and say add response and I'll choose to be Rosie. And now you can see this is what Rosie has. Rosie has the option to record her voice or add text boxes. She can draw on top of any one of these and she can view my instructions. So she can click and see that she needed to create a new one, which she's already done, turn on the microphone in a strong, clear voice, read her spelling words, read them and then spell the word out loud and then use the glow pen to trace the letters. So just as a quick example, you know, I'm not going to record my voice right now just because I'm making this video and I don't want to tax my computer's um, capabilities. But, um, you know, if I were a student doing this, I would go through and read over, new, art, take, only, so on and so forth, and then say over, O-V-E-R, and be recording my voice, practicing those words. And then last but not least, you know, doing um, something fun like using the glow pen to do some tracing and practicing letter formation and just writing the words and all of that. So you can see there's tons and tons of possibilities. The bottom line is, guys, that if you want to create um, a lot of templates and you know, you, you've know you got a bunch of things you want to get done, all of your spelling words, maybe all of your sight words, something else like that, um, what you're going to want to do is go into slides, create your backgrounds or your templates on individual slides and then use this slides toolbox to go ahead and export all of your slides. You can you can select uh, several of them. Again, I'm holding down shift and selecting these. You can do all of them or you could do them one at a time, however you'd like to. So those are just some ideas I wanted to share with you today. I hope that you'll reach out. If you're using um, slides toolbox in a different way or seesaw in a different way or you're combining all of these worlds and you have something that you'd like to share that's working for you, I'd love to hear from you. My email address is avra at edtechteacher.org and I'm on Twitter as Avra Rachel. So I hope that your day goes great. I hope your week goes great. And I hope you'll reach out if you have ideas to share. Thanks so much, everybody.